everybody, JC here with another TNI news video. Now I'm just shooting this real quick video today. We got some interesting news yesterday, late yesterday, which I wanted to share with you guys. And it's kind of an update to yesterday's news video. And it's in regards to Marvel Legends and specifically the upcoming 6-inch X-Men wave. Now, it has come last weekend. We learned that three figures in the wave are going to include the Tiger Stripe Wolverine, the 80s Storm with Mohawk, and a new Psylocke figure. And of course, the build of figure is going to be Apocalypse. But now, thanks to what appears to be some leaks off of Amazon.com, we may know the entire wave. Now, this is not confirmed. It hasn't been confirmed by Hasbro. And even though these are listed on Amazon, you know, in the past, there have been store listings that have been found that end up, you know, changing or what have you. So, again, this isn't a 100% confirmation. But the three figures that we know of in the wave are also listed on the website, the Wolverine, the Storm, and the Psylocke. So, it seems like a good bet that these are all part of the same wave. And the other figures that are listed are a new Magneto figure. Now, it doesn't specifically say what version of Magneto. I'm thinking the most logical, since we've already gotten Magneto in the last couple years in the red outfit. It, most logical would be a Marvel Now Magneto in, like, the black outfit. That, again, is not confirmed. It could be the classic Magneto. I, I, I really don't know. But it looks like we are getting a new Magneto figure in this wave. Multiple Man. And again, I don't know what version is original costume, is X-Factor costume, I, I really don't know. And this one's kind of a weird one to me because it seems to me if you really wanted to do a good multiple man, you would need to have multiple versions of him, which I don't think they would do in a single packed figure. So I guess maybe they want you to buy more than one. But as it is, it looks like multiple man will be in this wave. Sabretooth, a new Sabretooth figure. So it looks like they're just updating a bunch of characters primarily that they've already done. And again, I don't know what version of Sabretooth that we're getting. I hope it's his classic 80s look, but again, I don't know that for sure. And then the final one is Gladiator. Now, we got a Gladiator figure in one of the San Diego Comic-Con sets a while back. I don't know if this is just going to be a reissue of that or if it's going to be a new figure. So, again, we don't have a lot of specific details about these figures. We'll probably see that at New York Comic-Con next month. But I just wanted to let you guys know about this information. I'll, um, I'll have the links for each of the figures in the video description below. And, again, like I said... This is not 100% confirmed, but these figures are listed on Amazon, and so it does seem like a good indication that, that this is going to be the entire wave of X-Men figures. I'm a little disappointed. I was actually kind of hoping for a Beast figure, and maybe even an Emma... I was thinking there was going to be an Emma Frost figure. I can't say I'm disappointed that Emma Frost wasn't in the wave. I think the last one that Hasbro did is actually pretty solid, but definitely I was hoping for a Beast figure, which I'm sure will come eventually. Um, maybe if there's a second X-Men wave this year, or next year we'll see beast in that wave but as it is like i said i just wanted to shoot this quick video and give you a heads up let me know what you guys think are you excited for the wave if this does indeed end up being the entire wave you know let me know in the comment section below like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you can also follow me on my facebook twitter and instagram accounts i have links to those in the video description as well until next time guys i will catch you later